conceptual perspective. People talk about it. All of the elements. Good morning, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope that you guys are having a good week up until this point. I hope that you are focused on doing the things that you need to do uh, in every area and aspect of your life. Uh, remember, this is a conglomerate effort of pulling everything together and having balance or stasis or homeostasis in your life. You want uh, your home to be right, your family to be right, your business and career to be right, your spiritual center to be right. Uh, where you are striving to be is in focus uh, and that you're moving towards your goal and your destiny in every area. It's important that that takes place. I just wanted to stop by and uh, have a quick chat with you to introduce you to uh, something that I'm excited about. Uh, those of you who know me know that Writing is one of my passions, speaking as well, but writing is one of my passions. It's something that I do almost on a daily basis. I have been blessed um, in the most abundant way to have written and published now uh, 23 books. Book number 23 will be released in a few short weeks. Um, matter of fact, in a little over two weeks, it will be released. Um, and I'm excited about that. It's a follow up, uh, to, uh, it's a follow up to my fourth book, When Your House Is Not a Home. Uh, the title of the book is Soul Ties, Hope, Healing, and Restoration in Modern Marriage. And it deals with every element component from preparing for marriage and dating and preparing yourself and understanding the true nature of marriage, how marriage is intended uh, to operate, the importance of covenant or contract in marriage, the importance of understanding commitment in marriage, uh, understand that the dynamic of masculine and energy and feminine energy, all this is in the book. I want to talk to you real briefly about that. But those of you who don't know, I've really had a, bl uh, like I said, I've really truly been blessed to be able to share my passion uh, on stage and lectures. I've uh, written numerous articles, literally thousands, uh, written numerous uh, uh, academic papers, uh, but you know, the thing where I get to just really go in and share and give you what I have on any given area are my books. Here are some of the books that I've written recently. I Am, uh, The Power of Self-Declaration. Uh, I'm real big on self-talk. I'm real big on how you speak concerning yourself. Uh, I believe that I am a two of the most powerful words in the English lexicon because what follows will uh, determine your outcome, your destiny, how you view yourself. Critical Mass, one of my best sellers. Uh, critical Mass in the world of nuclear physics means the accumulation of all of the necessary components to produce a certain nuclear reaction. Critical Mass in life means that you have pulled together everything you need in order to accomplish that thing you desire, whatever that is. That's what this is, and this is, like I said, one of my best sellers. Um, the Miseducation of Black Youth in America. Uh, this was published through Atlock Publishing ooh, six years ago or something like that. Um, again, uh, I've had this book actually distributed in universities and taught in classes. Um, it, it's it's one of my uh, gems because it addresses a passion, the importance of educating African American youth. Um, this is just it. I mean, born in captivity, another uh, book that has uh, sold well. Um, people have had nice reviews about it. Born in captivity deals with the entire uh, experience of African Americans from 
the time they hit the soil here in 1619 up into current day and how that collective experience weighs and influences who we are, how we operate and where we currently are and what must be done to shift uh, the trajectory of who we are in this world and how we operate and how we see ourselves most importantly. Uh, another one, uh, a little more recent, is The Undoing of the African American Mind, which visits uh, one of my research projects that dealt, deals with uh, collective cognitive bias theory, uh, a theory that um, I presented and have been working on and studying. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's the undoing of the African American mind. There are so many ways that our thinking negatively impacts us. And I've worked uh, diligently on researching and pooling resources and learning so that I could share this with you. And in every book I write, there are solutions. Now, here's the thing I wanted to share with you that I'm excited about. In, two, in a little over two weeks, we're going to release uh, book number 23. Uh, soul ties and it will be done on January 1st 2021 what we're doing now is a pre-order and I really want you guys to get the pre-order number one is it comes as a signed copy number two it's uh, price less than the release price but more importantly now I'm offering to uh, I'm going to enter every purchase from today Matter of fact, retroactively, everybody that's pre-ordered, even those that have ordered before today, retroactively, anybody who pre-orders the book will be entered into a raffle drawing to receive a free 12-week, 12-session uh, um, coaching package from yours truly. That's 12 weeks of working with me one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, ask any of the clients that weigh in on any of the posts that I make on any social media platform what it's like to work with me um, and they can tell you so uh, I just wanted to introduce to that get that if you haven't gotten some of these other books I'm telling you um, these books are going to give you some true insight on the african-american experience uh, past and current um, the this book is a gem uh, I got people my, my clients literally uh, I mean it's 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 uh, unbelievable to be in a session with a client and they're quoting lines from your book and telling you what page it's on um, the book is just one way that I want to bless people uh, and share with people and give you instruments and resources that you can use to uh, strengthen your resolve to be in a better position to be better prepared to be more uh, t uh, fine-tuned and focus on the things you want to achieve uh, this journey of excellence isn't easy there's going to be turbulence there's going to be difficulty there's going to be frustrations there's going to be setbacks trust me on that one uh, but what you have to understand is who you are where you're headed and be confident in the outcome because sometimes your now won't look like your outcome your now won't look like your destiny your now won't look like what you will become what you will accomplish what will happen you cannot focus on that you cannot allow yourselves to get caught up in the now see the now is a situation the now is a circumstance you're you're bigger than the circumstance you're bigger than the situation you're bigger than the moment but you've got to believe it and you've got to believe it in a way that no matter what happens you continue to move on that's what I try to do in my books no matter what your focus is if it's Afrocentric uh, there are books for that if it's individually focusing on being the best person you can be there's there's books from that you know uh, with with the Visionetics Institute I work on personal enhancement with the Odyssey project I work on community development and cohesiveness with that within the african-american community with master fitness 21 we deal specifically with the different elements and components of health and on and on and on you know so there's so much that can be taken but i want to invite you if you haven't gotten any of the existing books go grab them uh, if you need to know where to get them uh... shoot me a line in my inbox 
uh, hit me on where uh, on on the comment section in the post uh, wherever you see this video because it's going to go up in a number of different places. Uh, email me at ceo at rickwallacephd.link and I'll tell you where to get them. Uh, if you're interested in working with me right now, you don't want to wait for the raffle. Also, email me. Uh, but definitely order uh, pre-order that book. The link is going to be immediately in the description box of the post box of this video as soon as you purchase it your name will automatically be entered into the raffle and on january 1st as a part of the launch and release uh the name of the person who wins that 12 sessions will be announced on that note i'm gonna get out of here as i always say i'm going to live my life on full and so that i die on e all that really means, uh, if you want uh, clarification, is that I'm not going to live my life in such a way that when I die, I have things that could have been done, but wasn't. Because I balked on it, because I danced around it, because I procrastinated, because I played safe, because I avoided discomfort. I'm going to live every day on full. And when I die, whenever that is, I hope it's 50 years from now, but whenever it is, I'm going to die on E because I will have given everything I have to, to the fulfillment of my purpose and my destiny. That's my challenge to you. So I look forward to seeing you, hearing from you, working with some of you. Don't forget, get that book. It be entered into that raffle. On that note, I'm out. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time you know outside of the businesses that i run like myriad business solutions the visionetics institute odyssey media group i also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in houston dallas and other areas uh, i'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the odyssey project is doing in the inner cities uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.